So is it possible to live with a septal perforation? Well, that depends a lot on the size and location of the perforation. So perforations that toward, tend to be towards the front of the nose or more anterior are likely to be symptomatic. And posterior perforations or perforations that are towards the back of the nose tend to be silent or asymptomatic. Anterior perforations can really cause a host of symptoms that are pretty troublesome. Uh, most patients complain of difficulty breathing through their nose, they have whistling, bleeding, sometimes pain, and a lot of crusting. And when septal perforations aren't fixed, we worry about the symptoms becoming worse or more difficult to control. Nosebleeds in particular are the most difficult to control. We also worry about the septal perforations becoming larger, and that not only affects how the nose works, but also how the nose looks, because you can get a saddle nose deformity. So if you're worried about your perforation, come on in. We can evaluate it and recommend medical and or surgical treatments that are tailored just for your perforation. So I hope this helps make your decision easier. If you have any other questions, give us a call at 609-403-8840 or email us at info at drndavi.com.